That's the reason why, Mr. Chairman, we wanted to find out why this 9 billion or the 15.6 billion was uh, cut out from the department. And this representation would like to find out the real answer. The reduction of 6.5 billion was proposed by the Senate. What? We have to find out the root of all of this problem. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I demand an answer from this committee. Nawawala po ang pondo pagdating sa Baitam, pag-akit po sa Senado, nawawala. I have noticed that the, you have consultative meeting with the DBM on January 29, 2024. What transpired with that meeting? Um, basically, nag-worry ho kasi kami dito sa... An Un wala yung na yung kulang natin that na un unappropriated 9 billion nagworry ho kami diyan kasi mm -hmm. nagko-comply na lahat in a for in 1 to 2 weeks right after holy week tapos na yung compliance and of course our beneficiaries will start looking for their grants kasi yes. nabayaran na natin yung iba last i mentioned so a big chunk of this will start saying oh complied na kami but ayun yung kami bayaran and uh, between us mahirap sabihin na Hindi man namin alam paano ipapaliwanag. So okay, uh, Mr. Che Secretary, para ma for more clarity, you know, so this 9 billion that we are talking about, that you have a discussion with DBM, are exactly on education grant, on rice subsidy, and the health. Health. Yes. Health grant. Uh, no, no. Health uh, grant. Health grant, correct. Health. So this is the totality of that 9 billion that is unappropriated right now. Iba pa yon. Yes, sir. Tama, tama. You, the two of you are correct. So, again, ano pong sinabi ng DBM? Ah, uh, uh, I am uh, no expert in appropriations, but we were trying to contest na doon sa special provision, um, I, I'm sure you know this very well. Yes, sister, na we please, can, uh, na Our contention was, uh, if I read it, uh, we want... 106 billion appropriated her herein for the Pantawid Familia shall be used to support poverty reduction and social development strategy of the national government. Provided that the four P's covered are eligible beneficiaries uh, under section blah blah blah. The said amount includes cash grants, rice subsidy, and the other grants thereof. The above mentioned beneficiaries are compliant. Uh, in our opinion, kasi, as long as compliant ka, and then beneficiary ka, you're covered by this, meaning we can use our contention, and we're probably not right, I'm sure we're not. The current appropriation, plano namin sana, gamitin for the previous payable. Kasi it made no distinction, in our opinion, the special provision made no distinction between uh, years. Diba? Parang sinabi niya, basta, ano ka, kung tatagalugin ko, kasi nandito yung mga ibang four-piece beneficiary, na kung ikaw ay kwalipikadong beneficiaryo ng four-piece, dapat na gamitin nyo tong pera na to pang bayad. It never, in our opinion, in our humble opinion, never said 2023 pang 2023. We're treating it hopefully like a trade payable. Na pagka nakalibro siyang payable, like just like any other supplier, pwede mo gamitin yung current appropriation. But uh, we're still waiting officially for DBM, DBM's an written answer. Uh, they're also doing their due diligence on the matter. So, you know, naging ending namin. So, in other words, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, uh, the requirements and the prerequisites that entails uh, on that program was satisfied yes. by the department. B by and the beneficiaries. By the beneficiaries and the department. Yes. Yes. Uh, with that, um, it was included as well in the National Expenditure Program. The budget of in the, yes, correct. In the NEP for correct. 2024, it was included? Both for 2023 and 2024. 2024, it was included? Yes. So in other words, it passed through the Congress. So we have seen the uh, appropriated amount that was uh, uh, written on the uh, NEP. So um, what happened to the $9 billion that now you are asking if we were able to appropriate on our side about this 9 billion pesos that was uh, written on the NEP. It, okay, um, Mr. Chair, I can't uh, assume what happened. Uh, basta all we know is that when we submitted our NEP, our proposal, it was there. Yes. Because we have a rough estimate of, we're assuming that all 4.4 will comply. So when we submit it, buo po yon. 
Now, what happens inside Congress, we're not privy to it. So, yun ako, I, I'm afraid I cannot uh, jump into, I cannot hypothesize. But one thing I can say, in the national expenditure, when we submitted it, mas malaki pa nga. Uh, in our tier 2, mas malaki pa yung sinapit. And that's the reason why, Mr. Chairman, I want to be uh, uh, educated on this uh, issue. Because when the good secretary was here in the last uh, budget hearing, um, he never approached us on this uh, issue precisely because he assumed that the budget will be, uh, be will not be, be uh, will be uh, touch or be realigned. And as a matter of fact, ang pagkakasabi ng ating uh, good secretary mas mapalaki pa nga yung budget. So I'm wondering what happened to that uh, budget that was uh, slashed out of the budget of the uh, Department of Social Welfare and Development, Mr. Chair. Uh, Maybe you are privy on this, so can you kindly give us an... Uh... <laughs> oh, we have to check muna kay Secrex. Kasi, Secrex, yes. if you... In your presentation, ah, I just follow your presentation. Kasi yung proposed budget nyo nga is uh, supposedly for 20, fiscal year 2023, 119 billion, ba? And it was last by 4 billion. Tama? Well, ang pinasok sa NEP is yeah, yeah, 115. Yeah. Of course, uh, your yeah. proposed budget is 119, diba? So it's almost... Uh, Close, very close, uh, close to 4 billion. Now, but in the GAA, it's only 102 billion. Right. Tama. Right. Kaya nawala yung 9 billion. Ang nawala sa 2023 po is in the third column. Negative 13 Ay, yeah, billion. Yeah, tama. Negative 13. Pero yung sa deficit, 2024, negative 6.5. Yeah, pero yung deficit na dito for 2023 is right. only 9 billion. Correct. Correct, sir. May difference po talaga. Because, because of the listing. Uh, one, uh, the non-compliance of others, diba? Okay. We maximize all the time. We always assume that they will submit. Pero some of them will not comply. So, lumiliit ko siya. But anyway, just just to... I'm not a member of the Committee on Appropriation and maybe I am not... Um, the, anyway, the, uh, uh, nandito po yung Senior Vice Chair. But before... before Sir, if I can add the... Yeah. Amy, the reason why there's a gap between the def deficit, the pro the projected deficit, and the decrease, uh, the proposal is because ninety five percent lang ang, com ang compliance. May five percent ng population ng four point four hindi na kaka comply. Oh. So hindi natin sila babayaran ng grant na yon, that particular grant. So instead of thirteen, nine lang talagang actual. Yes, so, yes. deficit. Yes, Mr. Kasi Chair. Kasi yun lang po yung talaga yung na-qualify. Yes, Mr. Okay. Chair. And you have explained this, Mr. Secretary, sa DBM, that the priority is this 9 billion. You've explained both. Both will become priorities. Mr. Chair, uh, yung six, kung pupunta na lang kami sa DBM, hiningi na namin buo. Yes. So, Kasi yung 6 billion, come end of the year, hahabol din yun eh. So in other words, kapag hindi tayo nakapaglagay ng 9 billion dito, in other words, magkakaroon tayo ng talagang uh, uh, more deficit. Uh, yes, Yes, diba? correct. You're correct. Yeah. So what will be what what will happen if ever na hindi natin to malagyan ng nine billion for this year in the next year that you will be uh, submitting your budget for 2025? How much will be the deficit, Mr. Chair? I can give you uh, a bird's eye view. No, yung nine billion na yon, a big chunk of that are education grants. No, yeah. a big chunk of that are are education grants. Halu halu siya pero malaking porcento nun are education grants. I'll just give you the uh, data for the, collated uh, for the past couple of years. Because of that education grant, 81% of the beneficiaries registered better school enrollment. Ibig sabihin na e-engan yun silang paaralin yung mga anak nila, papasukin yung mga anak nila, kasi may grant. Yeah. A lot of them have shown, 81% of them have shown at good attendance and enrollment. Number two, 89% of them, dahil nasa school sila, nakakakuha ng deworming. And these are very vital interventions that we envisioned when this program was created. So kung hindi natin, I can only assume na pag hindi natin mababayarin yung education grant, tatama rin. Pangit man pakinggan yung word na tatama rin. Suddenly they'll go back to the, di ba, we're correcting a behavior here. We're telling them, pag pinapasok mo yung anak mo, marirealize mo na para sa'yo yan, pero may konting insentibo of tulong pang gastos. E pag hindi na natin yan mabibigay, baka mag-regress sila pabalik. The good rates that we are getting, the minimum, the initial success of the program might regress. In other words, the all the efforts and the hardship that we uh, gone through with this uh, four piece go, pro, four piece program will just go to naught. 
yes and oh, what I'm trying to say then is we cannot send the wrong signal yeah, to our correct. beneficiaries yeah. that government cannot be relied upon. Na pag kinumit natin, we, what we owe them, we pay them. That's what I'm scared of. Na mawala ng kredibilidad yung programa in the long run. And that's the reason why, Mr. Chairman, we wanted to find out why this 9 billion or the 15.6 billion was uh, cut out from the department. And this representation would like to find out the real answer. And being not uh, a member of the Committee on Appropriation, I cannot really say why that budget was cut. So, can anybody uh, anyway, give uh, me I, that? Uh, no, I'm, yes, I'm done. Uh, anyway, I'm done uh, for sec, sec, uh, to, to, ano na siguro, just to reformulate the, the question raised by Chairman Dan, if he allows. Uh, what's the reason of, the, of both houses? Nine is last. I, I, uh, Mr. Chair, with all due respect, I cease to become. Uh, you cease becoming. I, I have ceased being a congressman last year. So, wala na akong internal. I don't. No, know no, exactly. no. Because. Hindi ko na alam eh. Ah, uh, sec. Because you mulat ka, di ba? Ah, yes. To reiterate. To yeah. reiterate. Uh, so, what's the, the reply? Uh, don't alam mo na tayo. What's the reply of uh, the lower house, or the bigger house, and the smaller house? And we did not get a reply. Reply? Uh, from both chambers, we did not get a reply. Oh. Uh, Senor Vice Chair ng APLO, walang ano daw, walang Mr. reply. Uh, we don't question it. We wrote to reiterate. We didn't expect an answer. Anyway, pero... Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi pa po tapo. Hindi pa po tapo. Uh, 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 ano lang, susugang lang yung mga tanong mo. Pero... Stella, will you... Answer the, ano, the query of the... <laughs> Mr. Chairman, because <laughs> yeah, wanted that, that, that. I, to be uh, uh, ano, uh, knowledgeable on this issue because uh, it might happen again in the next budget hearing and it worries us because marami tayong for peace beneficiaries doon po sa Santa Rosa at sa buong Lalawigan ng Laguna and we are uh, trying to, uh, to secure Ah, uh, kailangan po natin ma-secure yung ating pong mamahirap ng mga kababayan. And by doing so, we have to find out the root of all of this problem. Kaya, Mr. Chairman, I demand an answer from this committee. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Chair. Bakit this committee? Anyway, ah, uh, Senior Vice Chair, ah, uh, Senior Vice Chair, Stella can you please recognize? Please proceed. Well, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, I will share with you information from the committee report of the Senate which shows that um, the amendment came from them so the reduction of 6.5 billion was proposed by the Senate what okay. that's for uh, Chairman Dan Perandes uh, please behave well uh, please wait to be recognized before you speak uh, Sir Vice Chair, that is for the 2024 budget, that's 6.5. Yes. No, uh, dalawa kasi yan, yung 2023. What happens in 2023? Which is 9 billion. Well, in fact, 13 billion ngayon eh. Diba? 13 billion. Diba? Pero, of course, ang deficit yan. What I have with me are the 2024 documents. Uh, how about 2023, the 13 billion? Hey, please proceed. Yes, I, I can read the 2023, but what I just cited uh, was the 2024. So that's on record that it was the Senate. It was the Senate. So the six points so, were... Senator. Mr. Chair? I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Dan Dahan. Ako muna. Anyway, ah, uh, eh, Senior Vice Chair, so yung yung six point five billion was realigned. Paano yung nangyaring realignment? Saan pumunta? Ang okay, pero kasi of course there are many agencies, right? So kailangan mong isa isa yan. Pero what agency benefits? I mean, uh, the big chunk of that, ano, six point five. Well, Mr. Chair, we'll have to look at six other pages. Kasi seven pages yung Senate report. Anyway, anyway please check na lang para yung 2023 din, yung records. No? Then balikan na natin mamaya. Yes, uh, 
Chairman Dan? So, yung 6.5 billion that uh, good gentlewoman from uh, Marikina was saying, a 6.5 billion was cut out from the DSWD fund. And saan nagpunta yung 6.5 billion? And who proposes that, ano, that uh, cut out of that, ano, of that uh, budget uh, cutting from the uh, DSWD uh, department? Well, hindi naka-indicate which particular member. Ang naka-indicate lang sa, sa report would be the uh, department. But was it proposed by the lower house or was this it... This is the Senate. This is the Senate report. So the Senate... Na Mr. Chairman, can we possibly get a copy of that because we are not uh, privy on that issue. Eh? So the, the we... amendment was done at the Senate. Mm -hmm. Uh, yun lang po malinaw, the, the amendment was proposed by, and by the Senate. Pero question, pero of course, may minutes sila din, di ba? Kaya lang, we are we're not, uh, yes. we're not aware of, and we don't have the document. If you ask about the document from the Senate, then we will be asking uh, the good gentle, uh, gentle lady to, uh, if ever, that she's a member, a senior member of the Committee on Appropriation, probably uh, she can give us a copy of that. And with that, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, probably we can see the light. And uh, with that, I uh, submit, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Wait, Mr. Chair. Uh, before, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator Po, uh, is it related to the yes. Uh, query? Yes. Uh, after I interject? After Kong, Congressman uh, Irwin Tolfo, uh, I will recognize uh, Congressman Jesse Abalos, then Chairman Akop. Please proceed. Mr. Chair, maybe we're asking the wrong people uh, on this matter. Okay, lang po siguro natin tanungin ay ang Senate, what happened, saan dinala. Simple as it is, hindi po masasagot po ng ating kalihim, no matter how we grill him, hindi po masasagot na kasama po natin na uh, Vice Chair ng Appropriation. It happened during sa BICAM and after BICAM, that's where it got lost. Sir, it has been happening, believe me. As a DSW Secretary, even just for six months, I've learned a lot of things na nawawala po ang pondo pagdating sa Baikam, pag akit po sa Senado, nawawala. And lo and behold, napupunta na lang kung saan-saan. Not, not in the Aga, ah. napupunta po kung saan-saan. Believe me. So we're asking the wrong people here. We probably, we might ask, we might, you might want to ask our counterpart. Hindi lang po tayo ng dispensa. Because no matter how we investigate it, wala hong, wala hong patutungan dahil sila po ang nakakaalam Simple as it is. We will be wasting our time, hours, and the time of these people here because ginalaw po yun doon sa taas, hindi po dito sa baba. Wala po tayong kasalanan, believe me. It's always up there. For several years now, doon po nangyayari yung galawan. So we might we probably call for a meeting, a bicam ulit, what happened, saan napunta. Kasi kwento tayo ng kwento, tanong tayo ng tanong, hindi yung nasasagot ni Sekretary dahil kawawa naman yung tao, hindi rin masagot ni Vice Chair. Kasi nga po, wala silang alam because nandoon po sa Senate. 